Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we'll do complete unboxing, device setup and software installation of RMS Digital PC Waste Pyrometer Helios 401. Before unboxing, I request you to please subscribe our YouTube channel and like our videos. Company provides blue color bag along with this device. It's easy to carry machine safely inside this bag. Now we will open this bag. After opening the bag, we will get one software CD along with that user manual. Next is Helios 401 handset. This is a turbine transducer we need to fit inside the handset. Company provides one USB cable and one mouthpiece holder for connecting disposable mouthpiece. These are nose clips, one each for adult and pediatric. This is the reusable mouthpiece and this one is the paper type disposable mouthpiece. Company provides each four number with this device. These are the mesh filters. Company provides four number mesh filter along with the device. So these are all items we are going to get in this bag hello friends uh, now we'll start device setup our first step is to fix the turbine inside the handle as we can see the arrow marks are mentioned on the handset as well as on turbine we need to fix the turbine in arrow direction only please push the turbine inside the handle with your palm you will get one tuck sound it means your turbine is now properly fitted inside the handset now we will keep a mesh filter on the turbine then we need to fix the mouthpiece holder on the turbine so we can fix like this then in the last we need to attach one disposable mouthpiece for performing the test so from the device part now it is ready our next step is to connect the handset to computer through USB cable as you can see in video we are connecting one part of USB cable to handset and other part of USB cable will be connected to our computer or laptop USB port now please copy the data from given CD on your computer desktop. Now you can see here we have copied the data from CD. Helios folder has been created. Let us start software installation now. So let us double click on Helios folder. So here again we are getting various folders such as drivers, launch, setup, utility. So let us click on setup. After clicking on setup, we'll get latest software versions. So I am double clicking on Helios 3.2.62 version. After clicking, the small window will pop up. So let us click three times on next, next and next. Then our software will get installed and then click on close. So our software installed now. Now we'll install drivers for USB. For that, we'll go back to drivers in Helios folder. We'll open that folder. We'll get one RMS USB drivers. Let us double click on that. After clicking, it will automatically start installing drivers. In the end, we will get message FTDI CDM driver installation process completed. It means RMS USB drivers has been installed now. Now our next step is to click on C drive. So here we will get program files 86. So double click on that. Here we will get Helios folder. So right click on that folder. Just go to properties. Then click on security. So now we will click on edit. Then just go to users. Then 
we need to tick on full control and modify both for users and administrators then apply and okay okay so after that close this window now again we will open helios folder so here one file is there xducer.dat file we will copy this file then we will go to c drive we will open program files 86 then open helios folder then again open configuration folder then paste xducer.dat file here so here we can see that file now close this window now we need to click on my computer icon then left side you will get one icon this PC so right click on that just click on manage option so after clicking one computer management window will pop up then click on device manager So after clicking you will get various options if you have not connected the device USB cable to system please connect it so after connecting you will get the options ports com and LPT so after clicking on that icon you will get that USB port if you are using multiple devices on the same system then com port can be confirmed by removing and plug in the USB cable again in our system the com port is 3 it can be different in your system now right click on com 3 then go to properties then go to port settings then advanced then change latency from 16 to 1 then click on ok then one by one close all open windows we need to double click on RMS Helios icon for opening the software so after that we will get this message would you like to check for another com port just click on yes then we will select here com 3 port as we have seen earlier then mode we need to select non telehealth system select device we are using helios 401 so we will select helios 401 only then ok then enhancements here no change is required then go to printing here we can change clinic name and clinic address there are other printing settings also available such as info alignment print grid solid or dotted print on black and white paper paper orientation portrait or landscape and we can change the logo also you have to go to select logo you can like select your hospital logo then press on ok now after clicking on ok you will get graph window so it means your device your software is ready for performing the test now next onwards whenever you will click on rms helios icon for opening the software you will get this graph directly no need to make any settings again 
at last we will check whether our device is working or not for that just click on calibrate then start then just blow in spirometry device so here you will get certain values if these values are coming means your device is working fine now we have completed unboxing device setup and software installation in the next video we will learn how to perform all the three tests save patient data and take report printout if this video is informative for you please like and comment on video thank you for watching